comes a time where you need to edit your character style, you can do so in the same way that you would edit a paragraph style or an object style. My recommendation is to always make sure nothing is selected, so deselect, click the pasteboard with your selection tool, and then double click the style, in this case the character style that you wish to edit. It will launch the character style options dialog, and then in here you can change the settings. Now, character styles are special because they are linked to paragraph styles. We have broken the connection between the color of the typeface and we've added an underline. So if we want to edit those two things using the character style options, we won't be doing any more, for lack of a better word, damage for the connection between the paragraph style and the character style. But if we change anything else, we will be breaking more settings or disconnecting more settings between the character style and the paragraph style. As you click through the settings on the left hand side, you will notice that a lot of the settings are blank. Anything that's blank is blank because the setting for that is being pulled from the paragraph style. When you disconnect the connection between the paragraph style and the character style, those settings then become active in the character style options dialog. So we've added an underline, it's now active. If we go to character color, we have a character fill color. We do not have a, color, uh, a character style stroke color because the stroke color, which is set to none, but we haven't disconnected that from the paragraph style. So if we were to add a one point stroke on the outside of all of our text on the paragraph style, the hyperlink would also get that stroke because we haven't disconnected it yet. So let's start by editing just the things we've already set. So you can come in and decide that all your hyperlinks should be magenta and you can change the setting. You could even double click on the little swatch and you can change the color and you can make it whatever color that you want for your hyperlinks. Maybe you want it to be this shade of blue and then you can make it that shade of blue so it's not standing out as much. You can, if you want to, go back to the basic character formats. You could get rid of the underline if you don't want it. In addition, you could also modify um, any of the other settings. So if you want to, you could change the typeface. But when you're changing the typeface, remember you're only changing the typeface of the hyperlinks in the design. And so now they will have a different typeface than your body copy. And if you edit the body copy setting to change the typeface of the paragraph, it will no longer change the typeface of the hyperlink because they're no longer connected. Now I don't want to do all of that, but I do want to show you that if you edit the hyperlink character style, so let's make it magenta, it will update every instance of that hyperlink. So keep in mind that just because this one needs to be pink and this one needs to be blue doesn't mean that you can edit the baseline hyperlink style and it will change just the instance you have selected. If you have, an, if you have let's say, pink hyperlinks and blue hyperlinks that represent two different things, you would need to have two different character styles to achieve that.